Hello and welcome to Dubai Trains and welcome to another layout update video and today I want to talk about the engine roster, about the brands, the decoders and how I came to these exact engines and also the first question, how many do you need? Because half of what you see here is going to go back into the box and I finally completed for now, it's never fully completed, the ideal engine roster as I see it. Um, so let's just check, like, first question, how many engines do we need? And that basically depends on how many trains you have running at the same time. It's very straightforward, isn't it? And in my case, it's three and probably four that are out and about switching. And then four, but you also need one uh, for the yard. So that will be five. And I mean, four is the absolute minimum, but I'm, I'm going to keep five. And then just to have one on standby, we'll have six. And I'll just explain in a minute why I'm talking myself into having six engines while I only really need four. So let's just zoom in slowly, slowly. And what I want is I want some variety. I'm not there in the hobby yet where I have 10 of these little guys running around. It's HH660 and that's it. That's a great look or only these 44 tonners. It's really a great look on the layout to have five or six of the same uh, little engines running around. But I'm not there yet. I want some variety. And what do I want? I want big steam. I want small steam. I want big diesel and I want small diesel and I have a favorite for each one of those um, so that would add up to four but then if you look at the controllers let's just go over here so you basically have three different types you have any random controller from any random um, DCC company um, then you have the prototrottle and why is this different because you have to program the engine different for the throttle and then the third type would be uh, with your phone that's this which you're seeing right now uh, with the blue nami decoder and why is that different because you do need a blue nami decoder and um i have three throttles so with the blue nami i have four so that's uh, good enough for now so this guy actually has blue nami in it and that one is for uh, the prototype so big steam small steam prototype same here, uh, small diesel, big diesel, prototype. So that explains how it came to this selection. And so, yeah, I chose those. So these are automatically not it. We have this little 44 tonner. This is a dummy model. It took the gearing out of it and the motor and anything that might short circuit. So nothing too special, but it looks great. But I'm just not really sold on this symmetrical engine type shape. I like them to be a little bit uh, more asymmetrical. So these are out. This is another dummy model. Um, I need to chop more weight off of that. So this guy could run in tandem with that engine uh, right there. Uh, these are S2s or S4s, I believe. One of the two Alcos. Yeah, but I need to chop more weight because that guy is it pulls fine for layout, but if you put this heavy guy behind it, it's not going to pull fine. This is an F7. This is a 460. Um, this guy's great. I love it, but it's not really a switcher. It's for passengers. And I even put in the longer coupling coupler at the back, but still with this, um, whatever that call thing, I've lost the word for that, this uh, membrane thing right here that the passenger cars have. Uh, it's, it's just not built for switching and it has a sound value in it we'll get to the coders in a little bit but sound value is not ideal and then we have this little guy you might remember that i installed dcc sound and a capacitor in here i absolutely love him but it just it's just too small it has no real place on the layout um you, you can maybe yeah haul you can probably do a job with eight cars and pull it with it but it's just not realistic it's really like a shop switcher and that's not really what we're doing here so that's why these are out so now in quick fire rapid order this is actually a walters mainline with some kind of sound value this was a very old atlas this is a, a bachmann uh, with sound value this was a bachmann spectrum a dcc ready this was a dcc ready bachmann that was an old bachmann this is a uh, Bahamas Spectrum DCC ready, converted that. This one, if I remember correctly, 
is an Atlas, an HH660, we just went over that. And with DCC and sound added to it. This is the Bowser, great looking engine, converted that with a Tsunami 2 in it. And that's an Alco S2 or 4, still can't remember, Bahman. Um, this is a Bahman with sound value, but it's upgraded to Tsunami 2. That is a, a Proto, Lifelike Proto 2000 with the uh, Blue Nami in it. And that one we just had. So we have Tsunami 2, Blue Nami, and all the others on this side that we're going to use have Tsunami 2 in it. So yeah, the whole fleet is consistent. I'm slowly upgrading them with scaled sound system speakers. So I have one ready for that, but I didn't upgrade it yet. I upgraded this one and that one and that one. Oh wow, so only two more to go and then all the sounds are gonna be perfect. Now, if you remember the story of the layout, somewhat proto freelance, it's a association with the CNW, the Penn C and Milwaukee, and the Penn C has taken the lead to supply all the engines. But somehow, um, so yeah, this one still needs to be converted to a Pensy. Pensy actually never had one of these decapods. They had other decapods, but they are way, way heavier, uh, bigger, beefier. They're, I can't remember, but they're like 60% heavier or something. So they love the decapods, the, uh, the Pensy, but not this one. They loved uh, 060s, so they really had a lot of these switchers. And then they also had these, well, I forgot the name, not a mallet, but anyway, the uh, two ados. So that's a little bit why I came to this selection. Uh, this is also a 460. So again, the six, this one is also a six. So again, the six, they really like their three wheel configuration. The, um, the engineers uh, actually didn't like them. Because if you do not have any pilot wheels or very limited pilot wheels, like just these, uh, this one axle instead of like two axles, then, and you see it actually on this model, oh, it's not even on the track. When you operate it, because you don't have those pilots to stabilize the engine. So what you would see, if I was just go like this, uh, it would wobble a lot. And you see that also in prototype footage of these uh, small little uh, engines. They wobble a lot and it's not very comfortable. And also in the other direction, they do wobble a lot because they don't have a lot of those stabilizer pilot wheels at the front or at the back. So a lot of um, engineers did not like those. But anyways, that's what they had. So all that rest now is to put all these other guys in the box as beautiful as they are. And before anyone asks, no, I'm not going to sell them off. So I was saying the Milwaukee did creep onto the layout. Um, that one still needs to be re-lettered, the more Krypton. And yeah, it's a nice change of color, change of taste. I don't know, I just completed the fleet, so <laughs> why now go and change everything to the Milwaukee? Well, maybe, because I can. Um, but no, I don't know, I don't, I don't think so. I think I want to weather them more. I mean, I noticed when I weathered this guy and have another small steamer somewhere that I weathered, um, and I really want to weather this one. It gives so much more character and flavor, so much more realism to the locomotives when you weather them. So that would, I think, be the next step on the fleet is to, to, to weather them. But for now, these all these other guys are going to go back in the box. So that is the roster for now. A bit of a long-winded story. So I'm just going to leave it at there for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, do let me know or maybe other engines that would complement the fleet. That's it for today. Thank you guys all for watching. Bye bye.